Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, today I'm just going to be giving you a little pregnancy update uh, and then a baby room update as well. We just started on the baby room, so um, it is still a mess, but I'll just kind of give you my vision on what I'm thinking. <sighs> so today I am 26 weeks and six days, which is the third trimester technically. Uh, so tomorrow will be 27 weeks and like full blown in trimester three. So here we are, it's a little dark in here. <laughs> so this is 26 weeks and 6 days so it will be 27 weeks tomorrow which technically is right right here so which technically is third trimester if I'm doing my math correctly by calculator third trimester going off of a 40 week pregnancy. I'm feeling okay this week actually, which is pretty surprising because I've had quite a bit this like entire uh, second trimester, quite a bit of pain in my ligaments right here. Um, kind of mid second trimester, so maybe like around 18 weeks, the sciatica went away, which was great. I had a prenatal massage and I've been seeing the chiropractor every week, which has been helping immensely. <laughs> My chiropractor actually specializes in prenatal and women and babies, so I feel really, feel like I'm in really good hands with her. So all the pain lately has been like right here in this ligament. And then I also have <laughs> diastasis recti which if you don't know what that is it's when your abdomen muscles like separate and the connecting tissue rips open so I have been dealing with that pain of like my muscles ripping apart uh, I tried KT tape I have uh, I put it away I tried KT tape on my stomach which really helped during work but I'm allergic to adhesive so it was actually the hyperallergenic hyper one and it still left like horrible horrible like burn marks all over my skin uh, so can't do the KT tape anymore so I've just been doing some one strong mama exercises working on my posture and my breathing it's actually helped quite a bit um, yeah that's where we are baby bump wise Huge, I'll show you my, my belly. It actually looks uh, smaller when it's not like covered in clothing. But I still have a belly button for now. It's like slowly going away. Um, I'm going to link these jeans below because these have been my favorite maternity jeans so far. They have this crossover in the back, um, which is great because my back's not getting sweaty. And then it goes up over belly, and these stay up. Um, they fit really well. My other ones, I have some that the stitching right here ripped when I pulled them up. Uh, those were Levi's brands, but these are from Target. They're Isabel Maternity, and I just feel the best in these. These are size zero, which you can't buy in store, um, and you can only order them online sometimes. But if you're a size above zero, like two and up, you can get them in store and online pretty much all the time. These I got pretty lucky, and um, 
they were like a return at one of the targets that I don't usually even shop at and I found them so got really lucky there and this is just one of my husband's t-shirts that I put a like a ponytail on but anyway I will link these pants down below because they're my favorite it's honestly like my favorite maternity item that I have right now um, I do wear maternity shirts sometimes I haven't had to very much up until recently now that I'm a little bigger because my shirts were still fitting uh, but I do have some ones from Target they're just plain t-shirts um, and I can list link those below as well and then really quick I wanted to give you guys an update on what I'm doing with the baby room so we're not really gonna have a nursery because baby will be sleeping in our room for double chin uh, probably I'm gonna say two years my maybe less maybe more um, and that's gonna depend on when we have a second baby but I decided to dedicate our guest bedroom since we already had this guest room um, as like a toddler room and then also it's gonna have all of his clothes because he needs his own dresser already and we only have like clothes up to like nine months so um, it's super super messy right now I just kind of started on it so I got like just pretend like none of the mess is here um, I got this little bed from Ikea it's the Minin adjustable bed so it actually right now is in toddler and then it extends to be a twin size bed so it's great like storage wise since it's just such a small room that it goes into the toddler size so I'm gonna keep it this way and then if we ever have any guests then I can just extend it and they can sleep the mattress is actually not too bad I lay laid on it the other day and it feels really good um, I don't think the bed's going to stay here. I think I'm going to put it over here and do some sort of something like on the sides. This is going away. This is this actually goes in the office. And then I just have like a bunch of giveaway stuff that I need to take to the donation bins. But I'm going to do this little corner here. So I hung, looks kind of ratchet right now, but I hung this pendant light, which is from Ikea. I actually really really like it. It was super cheap. It's like $10 and then the lampshade I got for like 4 or $5. And I'm going to do a chair. So you're not going to really see any of this duct tape, but I'm going to do a chair here and then a bookshelf and that'll be like our little reading corner. And then I have his dresser which I kind of already did some decor for and then just like totally ruined it by throwing a bunch of stuff up here. But I have his dresser, so it's already full. He's got just some like free samples. I have, all of these are like diaper flats and then like two birth cloths, birth cloths. Uh, this baby monitor my mom bought at Ikea and gave it to us. And then I have newborn to three months, which is like super full. All my Kate Quinn stuff. And then this is everything that's bigger. So this is going to be like zero to six months, six to nine months. And then I think that's it. And then I actually have the diapers and wipes. And then this drawer is my birth kit which I'm gonna do a whole separate video on our birth kit uh, for those of you that don't know we are having a home birth so I have all my birth stuff in here because we're not using it yet um I'm gonna have I'm gonna take this tray off and I'm gonna do uh, like a changing pad it's like a basket it's, it's really cute uh, but like a changing pad and then I have trash can for dirty diapers uh yeah and then all this stuff is gonna go away hopefully hopefully we can make it cute but like i said uh we just got started on it and it, come on come on we just got started on it and it hasn't been top priority like project wise 
so we still need to finish that but we have so everybody that I know keeps asking if we have a baby name yet and I had no idea that naming this baby would be so hard um, when we my husband and I actually first started dating uh, when we started dating we knew we wanted to get married and of course um, we already knew that we would want to have a family eventually so we actually had baby names picked out pretty early in our relationship and as soon as I found out that this baby was a boy every name that I ever heard suddenly was like the devil I was like I hate that name I hate that name I hate that name so if you have any baby boy name suggestions go ahead and comment down below because I am struggling. We're not going to officially name him until he's born and we meet him, but I still wanna have a few names on our list so that I know like, oh, I like these names. Um, and then we just have like certain names to pick from after we meet him to see what name best fits like his face and personality. But it's so hard. Like I have maybe four names that I really like and my husband also has like a few names that he really likes and we're just trying to figure out like which names to use as first names versus middle names. Um, I'm not opposed to a three name, but my husband is. He likes the two names, just like the first and the middle name. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, comment down below. Our last name is Hall, H-A-L-L, -L, so if that helps, I don't know. Um, try not to do anything that rhymes with bad words um, or bodily function but keep that in mind please <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video if you are pregnant as well go ahead and comment down below I would love to follow along your journey on your YouTube channel um, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because it does help me out a lot thanks guys